Hey everybody, this is going to be one in a series of sort of how-to videos of how we will be worshiping together as we resume in-person um, worship. So, one, we will continue to video the services for those of you who cannot and are not ready for various reasons to come back to in-person worship. So you will continue to receive um, the, the videos um, as um, a, a video recording of one of our worship services. So that will continue to happen. Also, everyone will receive a bulletin in the mail, regardless of whether or not you come to in-person worship or you watch the videos. Um, everybody will receive one because it is less expensive for us to mail bulletins to everyone, bulk mail than it is to mail to those of you who choose uh, to come to in-person worship and those of you who don't and to keep track of that list um, is kind of a logistical um, nightmare for Lee Ann. So you will all receive bulletins and no, you don't have to bring your bulletin um, with you to worship. We will have bulletins uh, for you if you come to in-person worship. So I want to address one of the things, uh, a couple things in particular. One is that myself and all of the leaders will basically be standing behind the altar for the majority of the service. Therefore, we will not need to wear masks because we are more than six feet away from you. So we will not wear masks when we are behind the altar. And if we have a couple of singers that might be participating or musicians, um, they will be behind this space as well. Um, and they will be six feet apart from each other so that um, they can um, do their thing, participate either by, by playing an instrument or uh, singing in some way, um, but they will stay behind the altar and therefore not need to uh, wear a mask. So a couple times when that will not be the case, and this will be specifically um, for me um, and when we have, uh, when two things happen. So, one is that we will try to do a children's sermon if there are kids here. And so when I come around the altar, I will put my mask on so that the kids, we will gather in a, in a distance from each other, but I will put my mask on so that as I get closer to someone, um, still hopefully far enough away as we will be able to do that, um, I will have a mask on. I will put my mask on. Also, when we have communion, um, as I come to receive, give you communion, I will put my mask on. Um, we will make sure that we sanitize, um, wash our hands and everything like that before. We have always had this practice um, in, in uh, the way that we have handled communion before. We are going to minimize the number of people who touch things before worship. Um, and make sure that things are cleaned after each worship, and we will be very deliberate about sanitizing our hands before we come uh, to, to give you communion. But obviously, in order to give you communion, um, we need to get closer than six feet, um, and so we will have um, a mask on. So when we receive communion, we are going to receive it in one kind. Um, in our understanding of the sacraments, Christ comes to us equally in both uh, elements, both the bread and the wine. Um, we use both the bread and the wine because that's what Christ asked us to do um, in the Last Supper when he said, do these things, do this with bread, do this with wine. But over the centuries, we've understood that Christ comes to us equally, and there are times and places and situations and settings in our world and in our lives and in our community where one element um, can be given um, and we receive fully the forgiveness and the grace and um, Christ comes to us in that element. So we are going to be using just the bread. Now when I am up here at the altar I will be doing the same words of institution that, that we are familiar with. Um, on the night in which he was betrayed Jesus took bread. On the night in which he was betrayed Jesus took a cup um, and we will tell that story. But when we receive, we will only be receiving um, bread. And so you will come forward and you will place your hands out like this. This is a very important part of this. You will place your hands out like this. 
And then I or the assistant, however um, that happens at any uh, given service, will put the wafer into your hands. We're literally going to kind of drop it into your hand so that there is no um, accidental uh, contact uh, between us. Um, and so that um, that will be how we will do that. And you will come up uh, practicing the distance between each other as you were standing in line um, and being careful of, of those distances. Uh, but we will be receiving just um, the bread. I will also only be receiving just the bread, even though the cup will be here and we will tell the whole story. We, all of us, um, will only be receiving um, one element. This is going to be different for us for a while, but it is an opportunity for us to be able to be in person worship with our sisters and brothers in Christ. And I am looking forward to it. It's going to be different. It's going to be strange. It's going to be a lot of different things. But it is the opportunity for us to get back with our sisters and brothers in Christ, to worship around word and sacrament, to be fed and nurtured and sent. God bless. Look for more of these videos um, in the days ahead. Bye-bye.